Jurassic Park in plastic here, and today I will show you how to craft your very own electric fence, but not this one. I'm gonna show you how to make one like this. You will require a ruler, miller, no miller butt, pliers, scissors, some paint brushes. Eye screws are on Amazon, fairly cheap, or you can find them at the hardware store. Modge Podge painter's tape. These are these are on Amazon, fairly cheap. LED bloom lights, bright red or neon red, white, silver, and black paint. Glue gun, glue sticks, small drill bit on a drill. This is optional, but it makes it a lot easier. Thicker type of thread. It, uh, silver is best, but if you don't have silver, you can just paint it white and then paint it silver. So I'm gonna be doing that just to show you how, how that works. Your thinner uh, spool, this is like sewing machine thread, you're gonna want this to be either silver or white. You're not gonna wanna repaint this. Crazy glue, hey, wait a minute. This is not crazy. I've seen glue way crazier than this before. I'm crazy. I'm Mr. Crazy Glue. Wah! I got an eye on the back of my head. I can see you. Crazy glue. Ah! Ah! Some caps. It's my legs. Wooden dowels. We have a store here called Dollarama. They come in this neat little package pre-cut. Three medium and two small ones. You're gonna need a board uh, for your base. So this is just two pieces of uh, wood put together. It's about two and a half, two and a half feet long. Doesn't matter. It can be a little bit, a little bit longer, but you're gonna want it to be at least, at least two and a half feet. You can use cardboard. I used cardboard on my first one, but uh, you have to build it really strong in the bottom, or else you're gonna have some issues when you're trying to glue all the things together. Three googly eyes in case you want to make your very own crazy glue guy. There are 11 lines on the electric fence. So you're going to want to take your uh, wooden dowels and take your ruler. And the lines are about, uh, the lines are two centimeters apart. So you're going to want to go a little bit back from the uh, top. I don't want to leave a little bit of space here. I leave a tiny bit more end at one end than the other just to show where the uh, bottom is the whole time. You can use one to save time. Use one as a guide and then you just put them next to each other. Use one as a guide and just dot them all next to each other so you uh, can save some time. If you have your dowels, you can use the drill, start the holes a little bit with the drill. You don't want to do very much. You literally just that. If you do any more than that, you're gonna take away too much material for the uh, that the eye screw needs to go in. You will cuss, you will swear, you will throw them everywhere. What I do, I put it in the uh, in the needle nose pliers like that. You can do it with your hands. See? Put these eye hooks in here. You will curse. You will swear. You will throw them everywhere. You will curse. You will swear. You will throw them everywhere. So you start it like that. Twist it around. You're gonna have fun with that. You do that a million times. You will curse. Did someone say eye screws? To my favorite. Ah. It's so frustrating. I don't know, maybe you're good at doing this, but I'm not. This is your LED balloon light. You uh, screw it in to turn it on. And so we're gonna push this down so it's not impeding the way this turns on and off. And this is the point which we're going to glue it into the wood. So when your glue gun is heated up, you basically melt it into this a little bit, not too much. You melt it in and then you put a dab of glue on this. And then you put a dab of glue here. When you put your light on, you want to make sure your eye hooks are facing the same way as this. Like so. And then when you put it in, put a little dab of glue sealing there and a little dab of glue sealing there. But 
you don't want to do too much because we're going to be putting uh, some strips of painter's tape over here. Once it's glued in, then you're going to take some of your uh, thicker thread, one and a half lengths of your uh, post. You want to cut this string so it hangs off because this string is just going to be hooked in to the back. And you're going to take a glue gun cap and I use this drill extremely carefully to put this hole in here. Uh, if you uh, don't know how to use a drill, you better not use a drill if you don't know how to use a drill because you're going to drill through your hands. One time I put a square drill bit through my thumbnail at work and it was extremely painful. Anyway, once you have uh, this, you're going to put your string through it like so. And then you put a little bit of glue in inside, you put a little bit of glue inside the cap before you push it on right here. Then you let that dry for a second. And then you, uh, you fill in this very carefully around the edges. And then you take some painter's tape and you cut some thin strips to reinforce around here. So you put these on first and then you put this one around here to reinforce it. And then you can take some painter's tape and tape up your light because now we're ready to paint the posts. This is the small fence post. And this is what your larger ones are going to look like. So with one coat of red, it's going to be really not red. It's going to take about five, maybe six coats. We'll end up going from this to this. And you can see the glare is gone and it just looks more red. We are going to be making enough for two sections of fence. With our base piece, you're gonna to wanna to leave a bit of space on each end because there's a side anchor. I've made little squares where I'm going to be gluing in my posts. It's always a good idea to double check all of your measurements, check in between them, make sure they're all good. The middle post, is an overlapping measurement. So the end of this post and the end of this post are, are the same one. Glued in fence posts. We're gonna wanna reinforce these at the bottom. I've used glue gun glue. If you know a stronger glue and you wanna use that, fill your boots. You can use a popsicle stick to reinforce this or a uh, dowel, whatever. The reason I'm not going to use something like that is just for aesthetics. So I'm going to use tightly uh, pulled painter's tape. Put in some tape support. We're gonna need to put uh, five more eye hooks in. You're gonna wanna put one on the end right here for tension. And the other end right here. And then behind each post with a light, you're going to want to put an eye hook right at the back here because there's a back tension wire. So there's three of those, one here, one here, and one here. You're not going to need that thread for a little while, so the best thing for you to do is roll it up and put a little bit of tape on it, see? You got to put uh, your thread through all of these little eye screws. And uh, there's a couple ways to do it. If you want your fence to remain intact, then you just put your string the whole length across and you tie them on each end. If you want a fence that you can cut open and kind of recreate a T-Rex breakout scene, you're gonna want to tie your, uh, you're gonna want to tie your fence at each individual one or wherever you want your break to occur. And the great thing about a fence like this is you can always just go in. You can go in and just cut them out and, you know, repair them, and fix them, change them, change the color. You want neon orange electrified fence strings? You could do that. You could just paint them too, I guess. Lucky for you. Did someone say a crazy clue? You get a needle and you get your thread and you tape your thread 
to your needle. Pull it and go fully across. And when you get through to the other side, you just leave enough on both ends so that you can tie it and you just keep going. Once you have all your uh, all your lines put in and tied off, then you can put in these side anchors. So if your tension is pretty good, you can go down uh, about halfway or so with your side anchor. But if you're finding that your top tension uh, is really loose, <clears throat> then you just go up a little bit higher with it. And then that should help with any, uh, any problems you have with that. So once all your lines are in, then you're gonna take some perfectly normal glue. You just do little dabs on all of your uh, knots so that your knots will not come undone. Well, that was a whole lot of not fun. You can pull them tighter if they're loose and then just apply a bit of glue behind it. Uh, the supports really help when you, when you pull these tight, it's going to help a lot. And uh, got all these back ones put in here now. It's good to have some of these. You can get them on the internet of things. If you don't have sticker paper, you can print them on normal paper and just fold them over with some glue. Me! Cut some random bits of plants. Cut some random bits of plants. I've just taken some of these, glued them together randomly, but off in different directions, so they're gonna cling to the fence. My very own, yes, your very own Jurassic Park electrified fence. Not to worry, they see it is miles of fence all across the island. What is it? We only got 20 feet here. That's crazy.